This video is to demonstrate the harvesting process for the cell cradle bottle. Proper cell harvesting method is important to get the maximum cell yield at the end of the culture process. The succeeding video will show how to harvest cells properly from the cell cradle system. To start off, remove the cell cradle bottle from the incubator. In the biosafety cabinet, uncap the bottle and place the blue vented cap into the petri dish to ensure sterility. The strainer is autoclavable. Keep in mind, after the whole process of cell harvesting, the strainer should be autoclaved. Using the strainer, drain off the spent culture media into the waste beaker. Tap the strainer gently at the mouth of the bottle to allow any remaining carriers to fall back into the bottle. The following rinsing step should be done twice. Add 500 milliliters of phosphate buffered saline into the cell cradle bottle and place the bottle into the cell cradle stage. Next, set the following parameters. Gentle rinsing of cells ensures that only the serum and non-viable cells are washed off. This step is to increase cell viability during harvesting. The speed for the up and down rate should be set at 2.0 mm per second and the top and down holding time should be set at 0 mm per second. After 5 minutes of incubation, remove the bottle from the cell cradle stage. Drain the PBS solution using a strainer. Subsequently, repeat the rinsing steps again. Add 120 milliliters of pre-warmed dissociation solution and cap the bottle with a white non-vented cap. Then invert the bottle and swirl it to ensure all carriers are submerged in the solution. Place the inverted bottle back into the incubator. Sufficient time for enzymatic digestion is critical for successful cell harvesting. Once the incubation period is over, retrieve your bottle from the incubator and head to the ESCO Biological Safety Cabinet. Next, add inhibitor solution into the bottle and firmly cap the bottle with a white non-vented cap. Invert and swirl the bottle to wash off cells from the carriers. Additionally, rotate the bottle and sharply tap each succeeding corner steadily. Alternatively, the cell shaker can be used for this agitation step. Do note that using a trypsin inhibitor is encouraged as serum will cause foaming, hence preventing cells from being dislodged during harvesting. Pour the cell-laden solution into a clean beaker. Finally, transfer the solution from the beaker to the centrifuge tube to spin down the cells. Obtain the cell pellet after centrifugation. The harvesting procedure should be done three to four times. Please refer to the protocol provided. This video is for demonstration only.